What are the major advantages of having great personal credit? Let's talk about it, baby. All right, all right. You know what's up. Cakeology, the science of success. You know who this is. B.O.B. Nothing but the best of the best. And today I want to talk about what are the real, real advantages of having great personal credit. We all know, hey, you guys are watching this. You, you're interested in credit, money, business, credit, all of it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for daily videos on these entrepreneurial topics okay i i mean i i don't even i don't i really can't tell you where having personal credit isn't valuable okay but i just want to run down some of the things over here okay and i got and i got a i got a gem for you at the end make sure you guys stay till the end of the video as well okay about what the, i feel is the number one reason why having great personal credit what's the number one advantage of having this great personal credit so first and foremost everything is cheaper do you understand that okay everything is cheaper if you have great personal credit now what do you mean by everything well your car insurance they check your personal credit right your auto uh, uh financing your home insurance your mortgage that's thousands and thousands of dollars that you could save by having great personal credit and just maintaining your bills ladies and gentlemen i can't tell you how fortunate we all are to be living where we are the best the greatest place on earth you understand what i'm saying to you where credit is born you want you gotta understand that the u.s dollar is the currency of the world we got the machine baby you understand what i'm saying to you all right, so so credit is just flying off the shelf. All you have to do is be in a position to get it, to grab it. And how do you put yourself into that position? By doing the basics, by just paying your bills on time, keeping your credit card balances low, living on a budget in the beginning, okay? Now I'm talking about in the beginning because you know how I'm cut. I'm ignorant and mug, okay? I, I, I need to be around here doze up okay diamond up jewelry up okay but that comes later we can't floss it all at one time when we're still building okay so taking these sacrifices making these sacrifices right now in the very beginning to make sure that our personal credit is up to par is huge okay if we have personal credit card debt i would 100% recommend you pay that down below 7% ASAP. Now, what is that going to do for you? One, one, number one thing that's going to do is going to decrease your utilization, which is over 30% of your credit score. Once that utilization goes down, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the more money you have, the more credit that you have, the more credit you will get. Do you understand that? And nobody's loaning to a broke one. You know what I mean? You broke, then you just go ahead and kick rocks down the street. Oh, hell no. That's what the bank says. All right? Listen, I didn't make the rule. I didn't create the world. I'm just living by it. Okay? So if you're living by it, you're going to be one of two things. you be the customer or you're going to be the dealer. You already know. Dealer's only over here, baby. Okay? When we're entrepreneurs... OK, when we're employing individuals, it is so, so important for us to have our personal credit straight. OK, now, don't forget, stay till the end. And I'm going to show you how that personal credit. Oh, man, we going to <laughs> we making babies out here, just babies on babies. All right. Number two, one of the major, major advantages of having good personal credit is that you're able to build your business with your personal credit. OK, I mean, listen, you are building a whole nother entity that eventually one day is going to stand on its own. OK, so if you have your personal credit over 740, it makes it that much easier once you start building that business credit for your business to come in with your personal credit and then just bam, credit fusion. You understand? 
Credit Fusion Theory, book coming out soon by the best, baby. You know who I'm talking about, me. Credit Fusion Theory, where I'm going to outline how business credit and personal credit, when they come together, it creates that energy that cannot be stopped. There is a thing called being credit rich. Do you understand that? All money is digital. How much money have you seen in real life at one time? You tell me. OK, even Mike Tyson, who made hundreds of millions of dollars, he said the most he ever held in his hand was a cup of milli. So all the rest, where is that? That's numbers. That's numbers on a screen. Do you understand that? OK, money is nothing but debt. OK, that currency you have in your pocket. All right. That that's like you going to the dry cleaners, giving them your shirt and they giving you one of them tickets that, hey, take this ticket. Come back to mind when your shirt ready with the money. It's the same thing. We just got the ticket. The shirt still at the cleaners, dude. You understand? All right. Who got your shirt? The bank got your shirt and it's based on nothing. There is no fractional reserve lending anymore. They can lend as much as they want. It's not backed by gold or silver. So what is it backed by? It's backed by one thing and one thing only, and that's trust. And that's diminishing. You see how things are inflating every day. Stuff's becoming more and more expensive. Having that good personal credit and building that business credit with it is so, so valuable. OK, so now I told you I got the best for the last. Right now, how can we scale that? All right. I told you guys before I got kicked out of a Facebook group talking about, hey, having a business is like having another you. They were like, oh, <laughs> well, that's too controversial. You got to go. Self-destruct sequence. All right. I'm going to go. But you ain't never seen a back guy like this before. You understand? All right. I will go. But I'll be back. When we come back on them, we come back on them with these innovative ideas. We think outside of the box here, money, business, credit, make sure you guys like and subscribe daily videos. All right. So when we have good personal credit, not only can we build one business, ladies and gentlemen, but we can build a number of businesses. All right. Is there anything preventing you from having multiple businesses? You know, real estate investors come to me all the time. They're like, oh, I got a real estate company called called ABC Real Estate and I want to get business credit going immediately. Oh, OK, great. But do you guys know that real estate investing is considered to be high risk in the, in the eyes of the bank? That it's tougher to build business credit if you come out and say you're a real estate investor and that you're investing in property. It's high risk, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't HGTV. I've, I've been rehabbing houses forever. I, I rehabbed over 40 houses in Detroit, built houses from the ground up, have commercial property, have land and still developing it. Believe me, it's no walk in the park, baby. Sometimes you got to come out, you know, henchman the style on them, depending. You know what I mean? So, hey, it's not all, you know, just just tricks, tricks are for kids, dude. You understand? Is there another way to come at it? OK, so you have a real estate company, right? But what about if you had something else that was a wholesale business or a manufacturing business or an industrial type of a business? OK, it, you could build business credit on that. No one's coming to your house and talking about, oh, what do you use this credit for? You could still buy real estate. Do you know what the number one asset is that McDonald's has? It ain't fries or burgers. It's real estate. Do you understand every single McDonald's you see on that prime corner of the intersection? They own that joint. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? They're in the real estate game, too. There's nothing that's saying you can't buy an office. You can't do this. You can't do that. But think outside of the box a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Don't forget credit fusion theory, baby. The book is coming out this year. Written by your boy, B.O.B., -B, none but the best of the best. I got daily videos as well for you guys. If you need help building your business credit, sign up for my free 15 minute consultation where I'll walk you through our VIP business membership. OK, a lot of value in it. All right. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. I'm going to catch you tomorrow. Don't forget bell notification when I come out. Until then, peace and love, baby.